you're about to learn how to make your very own hologram. So this is actually much simpler than you probably imagined. All you're going to need is graph paper, a CD case that's been lying around, just an old one will do, some tape, a pen, a pair of scissors, a smartphone and a knife or glass cutter. So basically we start by drawing out a basic rhombus shape. Try and get yours as close to this as possible with the dimensions 1cm by 3.5cm by 6cm. If you're feeling ambitious you could always try and sort of double those or triple those and you will get a nicer effect but just for ease of use and sort of getting this on camera we're going for that size. So you get your little paper template and then just before we start cutting just take off the sides of the CD case because they're just going to get in the way, you don't need them at all. So ideally this is going to be plastic, if you just happen to have a glass one it can work but just be extra extra careful. The higher the transparency the better the image will come through but it doesn't matter if it's sort of old and dusty as long as you just give it a clean and make sure there aren't too many scratches. So then get a scalpel, a knife or a glass cutter and again very very carefully trace around the template. Once you've cut your first one out you can then use that to get the others. Then I've, you can see I've actually slightly broken mine, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Try and fasten them together like this using a little bit of tape. I originally tried glue but then they just fell apart so this seems to work fine. And that's basically it, you have a hologram. So the way we're going to work this is you use your smartphone to load up either on YouTube or the internet browser, I'll put a link in the description to a couple of videos, but you, you load a hologram specific video, so video is actually made to use this technology. And basically you very carefully place the hologram that we've made onto the middle of your smartphone and it'll just work, turn off all the lights and just enjoy. You actually get a full 360 degrees of vision. Now obviously the clearer the sort of plastic or glass you use and the less of a mess you make of it, the nicer the picture's gonna be. You can see I've got some glue stains from my first failed attempt and the tape doesn't exactly look great, but this is incredibly cool. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video.